there can be many different reasons why you want to reset your WordPress password. Today, I'll show you the latest and easiest four methods to reset your WordPress password. And there's also a giveaway at the end, so don't miss that. Let's start with the worst case scenario, where you can't log into your WordPress dashboard, can't access your WordPress email ID, and don't have your web host's password, or basically no other method is working for you. Then don't worry, I'll show you one last ditch method that still works, but please, only use this method if you have no other way to reset your password. It's best if you have a backup of your site before you try this method. And one super important tip, whatever method you use to reset your password, after that, please make sure that you install a free security plugin like Malcare because 30,000 sites get hacked every day and Malcare's free firewall, bot protection and vulnerability detector will keep you protected. So just go to the description and click this link to get it. All right, now let's start. So go to your desktop then search for notepad, then open it and paste this code on it. I've also added it to the description so you can copy paste it from there. After adding the code, save this file and make the title emergency.php and save it. Okay, now the coding part is over. Later on, we'll just be adding this file to another place. So open your browser and in your search bar, type this URL now, Cyberduck is a popular free software that helps us modify files in our web hosting. If this sounds too technical, basically, your WordPress site is stored in your web hosting server. So by using this free software, we can directly connect to this server and then reset your WordPress password. So let's go here and click download. Open it and launch it and go through the setup process. And once the installation is complete, just open Cyberduck and then click on Open Connection. Now we need to add our FTP or SFTP credentials here to then begin using Cyberduck. But if you don't have your credentials, you can still find these details. Just go to the email ID that you use to sign up for your web hosting and search for their welcome emails because most web hosts send your FTP or SFTP details when you first buy hosting. If that doesn't work, you'll have to contact the customer support for help. If you do have access to your web host, then just go to the website, then click here and log in. And once you're on your dashboard, go to advanced, then click on FTP connections. This will bring you to this page. Now go here and you can see your FTP or SFTP details. Okay, now I'm assuming that you've got your FTP or SFTP details one way or the other. So after that, come back to Cyberduck and then add your details like this and here and we're done. Now click connect to establish a connection with your server. Now go here, find the public HTML folder, open it and then go here and select upload. Now, remember that code file that we created earlier, emergency.php? So we will search for that and then upload it. Next, just go to your browser, type your site's name like this, then add a slash and type emergency.php and click enter. Now add your WordPress username and create a new password here. Click update options. And now your password has been changed. So go back to Cyberduck and right click the file we uploaded and then delete it. Now, what if you're locked out of your site, but you still have access to your WordPress email? Then this is the easiest method. We're going to use the built-in password reset option in WordPress. So here's my WordPress website. In the URL, type slash login here. This will take us to our login page. Now you can click lost password and it will take you to this page. Now enter the email address you used while creating your WordPress website. Then click get new password. Now open another tab and open your email inbox. Here you can see that we've got an email from WordPress to reset our password. Now, if you didn't get this email, make sure you go here and check your spam folder. If you still didn't find the email, then go to the next chapter where I'll help you with this issue. For those that did find the email, then click on this link and it will take you to this page where you can reset your password. Okay, if you aren't getting the password reset email, or if you've forgotten or lost access to the email address where that link is going to, then you can follow this method. We will reset your password from your web hosting account. Now, there's two types of web hosting that you could have taken, managed web hosting or cPanel hosting. And I'll add some examples on the screen so you can find your own web host. Now, if you don't remember your web host's login details, 
then go to the first chapter because then that's the only fix that's going to work for you. If you can log into your web host, then continue on with this chapter. I'll show you how to reset your password with both types of web hosting, managed and cPanel. Let's start with managed hosting and let's take Cloudways as an example. So go to the Cloudways website, then log in and add your credentials and you'll come to your web hosting dashboard. Now select the server that's connected to your website, go here and then select your website. This is your application manager and now we are going to click on Launch Database Manager. It will take you to another tab. Now from this table, we will look for WP User and click it. Here we can see multiple tabs like Select Data, Show Structure, Alter Table, New Item. We will click on Select Data and we're going to look for our user login details, link to our website and then click Edit. Awesome, now go to User underscore Pass like this and then change it to your desired password. Click save and we're done. Next, let's look at how to reset our password using cPanel hosting. So I'll take Bluehost as an example. Let's go to the site and click login and click on the advanced tab. Now scroll and click here and you'll be redirected to this page. You see a list of databases on the left side. Now click on this and open this database. Now you see a list of tables inside this. So look for a table that ends with users like this, then click on it. Now if you look here, you can see your username. So click edit. Now find the user underscore pass field like this and remove the existing password and enter a new one. Then go to the function column, click the drop down, and then select MD5. Then click save when you're done and your password is reset. Okay, this is the easiest option. If you have access to your WordPress dashboard, then open your dashboard, go to users and click all users. Go to your username, click edit, then click here and set a new password. Then click update profile and it's done. Welcome to the giveaway section. This is a small gift since you watched till the end. So check the link in description for a flat 20% discount on the best WordPress security plugin, which is Malcare. In just $6, you'll get unlimited malware removals and seven layers of security to keep your site protected. So, link in description, we'll check it out.